Let's go ahead and get into this Bow Wow and Kiyomi Lee stuff, cha. Thank you for clicking on the Katrina Rowe account. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So last week, it had came out that Bow Wow and Kiyomi Lee had gotten into an altercation, a little domestic violence situation, and they both got arrested because according to the police it, they couldn't tell who started it they couldn't you know it seemed like they was throwing hands on each other so both of them got arrested I was physically assaulted by my boyfriend and i would like to make a report he was hitting me in places and he said no one is gonna believe do you need medical attention i don't feel like i do leslie holding maxine leslie or is your boyfriend still there yeah, he lives here. We live here together. Yeah, I'm standing outside because his friends help. His friends help me leave. I'm black, and I have on all black. I'm in a green Jeep. I'm sitting in my car. The police already came out here, but they wouldn't let me out the bedroom. Yeah, it was him and two of his other friends, and they wouldn't let me out the bedroom. They took my phone from me because I called the police. The first time, and he was, they took my phone from me. Just like a domestic violence. So a little after that, after they got arrested, Bow Wow's mugshot had came. I mean, not mugshot. Well, it was yeah, it was a mugshot. His mugshot came out, and he has scratches all over his face. You know, so everybody was like, "Oh wow, she must have beat his blank," and um. You know, everybody thought it was funny or whatever. Some people was like, that's not funny. You know, it's not fair that when men hit women, it's, you know, everybody see makes it seem as it is a bad thing, which it is a bad thing. But when women hit men, then all of a sudden he's a punk. He's this, he's that, he's soft. And a lot of people was comparing the situation to Chris Brown and Rihanna. Everybody was saying when Rihanna had got beat that it wasn't funny. So a little after that, Kiyomi Lee had took to her Instagram and she had said something in the fashion of is is sad, basically, how most of the hate is coming from black women who has daughters. Basically, when the truth comes out, you know, <laughs> you you basically gonna have a foot in your mouth. So woke up today and there's a video of Bow Wow looking like he was the aggressor check out this video i'll be right back now like i said this video got bow wow looking like he was the aggressor i'm not gonna state my opinion or jump to conclusions but it looks to me that bow wow got what was coming to him because let's just face it somebody's in your face constantly saying what 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 you know a grown man taking his coat off and stuff and making you feel like they about to fight you and stuff or maybe you know you feel in danger or something like that is only human to defend yourself but at the same time nobody was there so we don't know if kiyomi lee threw the first lit or we don't know if bow wow was the one that actually threw the first lit now, they're saying that this whole thing started because they were at a party and Kiyomi Lee was being a little flirtatious with Shaq. Crazy, right? I would never have thought that Bow Wow would get this upset over Shaq. 
I'm not sure if Kiyomi Lee and Shaq have like some type of history or if there's a certain reason why Bow Wow would get a little jealous of Shaq, but I don't know. This whole thing just seemed a little weird, especially since Shaq not normally, you don't really see him with, you know, too many girls, but he probably still be with girls, but just not out there out there like most of these rappers and stuff but just the fact that bow wow got this pissed off about Shaq, allegedly let me throw allegedly in there because we don't know you know if that is true that's what another block site said so i don't know if that's why he got mad that he's a little weird it's just unfortunate that Bow Wow, his whole career, you never heard about him in no mess like this. You never heard about him fighting nobody, nothing. And for him to be this old, you know, like a fully grown man, bald spot in the back of his head and everything. Now, all of a sudden, he want to, you know, turn up and have all this drama with him and stuff. I feel as though it's something really going on with Bow Wow, and I feel as though he needs to get help. Also, I feel like him and Kiyomi Lee, they just don't make a good couple. They just need to end. If it ever gets to the point that y'all have to literally fight, it's time to end it, you know? And to the people that were saying, well, um you know calling bow wow a punk or just make just brushing it under the rug that you know she hit him if she was the aggressor um domestic violence is never okay it doesn't matter if a guy hits a woman or if a woman hits a guy if a woman hits a woman or if a guy hits a guy you know it's never okay. Domestic violence is never okay. And if you ever get to the point that you feel like you need to put hands on your significant other, you need to leave. Okay? You need to leave. If you still want to be with that person, don't get back into the same roof with them. If you're living with them, like stay somewhere else, like maybe at a friend's house and stuff. But at the same time, go to counseling. See what it is that is making you that ticked off that you feel the need that you need to put hands on this person or if you're you know you're dating with dating because some people they just put hands on every person they've ever been with so if you got one of those people you just need to leave all together and forget the counseling you know domestic violence is never okay if kiyomi lee was the aggressor then that's effed up and if bow wow was the aggressor then that's effed up You know, this whole situation is just freaking crazy, y'all, especially if it's over Shaq. But let me know what y'all think. Do you think that Kiyomi Lee was the aggressor? Do you think Bow Wow was the aggressor? Um, do, Do Kiyomi Lee and Shaq have some type of history? Please leave comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Peace.